Hi there, Jagir, your Office 365 daily vlogger. I publish daily Office 365 videos talking about, you know, the features that I see, how, the best practices and how, how to use Office 365 uh, in your organization. I'm all about modern work and you can check out my website at modernwork.cloud. Actually, don't go to the website yet because it's down <laughs> currently due to some technical issues uh, this weekend and I couldn't get support uh, because of the weekend. Anyway, um, I have a news. Uh, I'm very excited actually, you can see. Um, my podcast is now live on all the major platforms. So it's live on uh, Apple Podcasts and Stitcher, Spotify, and a and, and few others. So if, if, if you're an iOS user, if you're an Apple user, just go, uh, go to the podcast apps and search for stories of modern work and uh, you, could, you could start listening to me. Uh, and I release weekly uh, podcasts talking to various users on how they actually use Office 365 in their, in their organization as a modern work platform. Again, if you're a, uh, if you're a Android user, you could get the podcast uh, from either Stitcher or from Google P Podcast or from Spotify, whichever app you prefer to use. So I'm quite excited to be alive. It took me a week to get there, but anyway, I'm I'm quite uh, happy that uh, the podcast is now live on all of those platforms. So today is a Sunday. That means we have another episode. So today we I'm, I'm releasing a new episode where I spoke to. Mitchell Runner, a, a SharePoint consultant a, a, and a IT pro uh, working for a large telecom company. And uh, we, we spoke about, you know, they're just starting their Office 365 journey. They have a lot of uh, SharePoint, um, uh, you, you know, enrollments and a lot of apps and, and, and sites were, in, you know, run on SharePoint on premises. And they're actually on the journey now. It's they're starting to move from, off, uh, from SharePoint on premises to SharePoint online. And, and, and also embrace the other services within Office 365. So we spoke about, you know, many things and a few things that really jumped out for me is, is how they plan for user adoption. You know, if, if you're on the same journey like like Mitchell and, and you know, you, you're worried about user adoption, I would encourage you to go check out the, uh, the episode two where we talk about user adoption. And also, we, you know, they have various plans to, you know, migrate all their info platforms to, um, you know, power apps. So there's there's a toss up between are we going to migrate or are we going to rebuild? You know, you know my answer always rebuild. Uh, <laughs> if if you're if you're moving from InfoPath to to uh, power apps. But anyway, we spoke about that and we spoke about you know uh, from a from a consultant point of view. You know, from a uh, from a, a SharePoint consultant point of view, how he actually uses Office three six five to get his work done and and so on as well. So do check out episode two, which is now live uh, on all the major podcasts and I can't stop smiling because I'm, I was waiting for this day to you know get all you know I've been listening to podcasts for a long time now and I always wanted to be there I always wanted to be like you know have my own podcast and today is the day when <laughs> I, I can listen to myself on Apple podcast that's quite meta okay thanks for that and uh, stay tuned for me my, my videos and tomorrow we'll talk about another topic of Office 365. We've been talking about Microsoft Forms last week. So probably we'll talk about Microsoft Forms or or we'll pick another subject tomorrow. I'm not sure. I have to still think and and, uh, and, and uh, come up with a short list for next week. All right. Thanks uh, for all your support. And, and, and if you're not a connection on LinkedIn yet, please do connect with me or follow me on LinkedIn uh, to keep track of these videos. And uh, hopefully I'll fix my uh, website issues in the, in, in the next few days. Thanks a lot. Cheers.